Hi, my name is Ari Sass, known as the Get Refuser. It's the day before Pesach, and it's been a couple of weeks since I put out my first video, just asking for proof that the Sirv was true, and not one person so far has come forward and given me any proof. So it's safe to say that the Sirv is a lie. I wanted to make this video the day before Pesach to help people understand why we are in this terrible gullus and why, we'll, why we will continue to be in this terrible gullus until something changes. Someone once wrote an article that eating pork is two diorices, while speaking Lush and Hara is over 30 diorices. So as you already know, the syrup against me is a complete lie, which means it's complete Lush and Hara. Even with this knowledge, the Rabbinical Council of Bergen County and Ora have gone ahead and defamed me. They've taken out multiple ads in the Jewish link, and they've hurt me and they've hurt my family. So I want to show you some calculations to put things in a little more perspective to you. I can't tell you exactly how sins are compounded, but let's say for every minute you keep doing a sin, it's counted as a sin. This has been going on for over a year already, and with this group is defaming based on lies. So let's take one year as an example. There's 525,600 minutes in a year. That means every rabbi in Bergen County has amassed 525,600 times 30 is 15,768,000 sins from this past year, just on Lashon Hara. But that's their own sins. The Chafetz Chaim says that community leaders were responsible for the Lashon Hara spoken by the community. The Jewish link has a readership of over 100,000 people. Let's add probably another 50,000 from the Ower spreading the word, which the rabbis didn't stop, even though they knew it was a lie. That's about 150,000 people. So if you take 150,000 and you multiply the 15,768,000, you get 2,365,200,000,000 Averas for every rabbi in Bergen County for spreading the Lush and Har about me. Let me put this in one more perspective so you understand how bad things are for the Jews. The Chet Egel, the sin of the golden calf, was worshipped by 3,000 people. At that time, there were about 600,000 people in all of Klal Yisrael. So that makes about a 0.5% of the population. Lush and Hara is worse than spilling blood, illicit relations, and worshipping idols like the golden calf. If there are 15 million Jews in the world today, and 150,000 Jews spoke Lush and Hara, that's 1% of the population. So... Let's make this clear. A sin worse than the golden calf and a bigger percentage of the Jewish population is doing it because of the lies of the rabbis in Ora. Moshe broke the luchos over the golden calf. What do you think Hashem is doing right now when everybody's speaking Lashon Hara in a greater volume than the golden calf? You want this to end now? You go over to the leaders of the lying campaign against me, Neil Turk, Ben Krohn, Jakob Neuberger, and you tell them you end the lies and lush and horror now because you're sick of what's happening to the Jews in the world. If you do nothing, don't complain because lush and horror was enough to destroy the base on Migdash. It's enough to destroy the Jewish community. Either everyone speaks up and demands that the rabbi ends this, or this Pesach is just going to be another Pesach in Gullus, but much, much worse. I hope you all do the right thing, because if this was your family and everyone was spreading lies about it, you'd want somebody to speak up. Do the right thing. End it now.